Hi! Today we're going to be talking about Munchpack. It's another one of these subscription boxes that I've gotten, uh, which I think I got like seven now. And today I've got a guest star with me, MK, who's going to be helping review this box. Hey everyone! So, this box is $20. I think I got it for like 17 It's uh, pretty light, reasonably light, not super heavy. Um, front has an interesting design, probably the most interesting one of all the boxes I've reviewed so far. Uh, and it's one of those boxes that has the treats from around the world. Um, so it's, I'm, I'm sure that this value is not going to be great, but I hope the novelty is awesome because that's what I'm actually looking for. Okay, so let's open it up. Um, cool. So right inside we have... Uh, you can't see it from this angle, but you've got a download the Munchpack snack scanner app, which I think is a little bit silly. I'm definitely not going to download an entire app for a snack box. Uh, what do you think about the inside of this box, MK? I like the cartoons. I'm interested. Okay. It's definitely one of the most interesting boxes we've opened so far. Um, inside we've got a Made Just For You by Roxanne. Who the f fuck is Roxanne? And she has a box head. Oh, that's very true. Maybe it's because it's like a subscription box. Oh, clever. Maybe. <laughs> uh, on the back, we've got an enter to win crap. And okay. in case you forgot who your, what box you ordered. Oh, let's not spoil it. All right. So inside, we've got a bunch of good looking snacks. It looks like this isn't actually themed in terms of a single country. Um, I'm actually going to put this off to the side here. Um, so first up we have Guinness toasted cheddar. I'm super excited about this one. Are you? Really? I am Guinness. That's from Ireland. Oh, that's true. You are Irish. Uh, so these are going to be interesting. They're potato chips. I'm assuming flavored like Guinness. Naturally, too. Naturally. What does that mean? So they soak potatoes in Guinness? Yeah, the two foods of our, my country. Um, on the back here, let's read this description. Get ready for round three. The partnership continues, and this time it's getting cheesy using a combination. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> using a combination of thick-cut potatoes, the classic cheese toasty has been combined with the world's most iconic stout flavor. To create a mature double act. Introducing Guinness to... Okay, let's open it up. Uh, right. It is a normal chip bag, so that's interesting. I've actually never... Seen, have you seen these before? No, I've never seen them. I've never seen any kind of alcohol-flavored chip. So let's open it up and see what it tastes like. Oh, this is hard. It's going to spill everywhere. Still even... Oh, we did it. We did it. Okay. That's not that bad. Uh, inside the bag... Just looks like normal chips. Uh, go ahead. Let's do, let's do it at the same time. MK was going to just stuff it in her mouth right away. I thought it was just a snack. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Toasted. Hmm. Mm. You know, I expected it to taste like bitter somehow. You know... I actually don't think it's flavored Guinness. You don't? I've tasted Guinness. It doesn't taste anything like it is. I think it's I, just cheese and potatoes. I actually definitely taste the Guinness, like, in the back. Oh. I don't taste any cheddar, but mm -hmm. I do taste that bitter, like, dark ale taste. I guess I need to eat more. Um, what did you think about this? Would you ever eat this? I would. I like the little bitterness along with the potato flavor. Mm. I think it tastes like cheese, so I, I anything with cheese, I'm all about it. Well, the crunch was good. I like that a lot. Um, the flavor wasn't too bad, and I don't really like Guinness that much. Yeah. But these are not bad, and I've never tried these, so you're one for one, Munchpack. Good job. Yeah. All right, next up we have... This, I have no idea what this is. Uh, looks like it's from some sort of East Asia country. Mm. It's got there's some a fruit right here. Oh, there's a fruit. What fruit is that? Uh, let's see. Oh, I can't see. 
I wish I could help you with this one. I don't recognize those characters. It looks almost like a coconut in terms of like, no, it doesn't at all. I have no idea. But I do really appreciate, I like East Asian like labeling. Mm. They have smoothly. Smoothly. Smoothly on the top. So maybe it's a smoothie-like snack. There's also a smoothly. Smoothly right there. A deer something right there under the title. All right on the side here. Oh, here's some wording. Kai, Kwai oh. Kwai oh, corn snack. So maybe it's something to do with corn and fruit. That doesn't excite me as much. Um, back looks like... Uh, a whole bunch of other words I can't see. And it does have an English label. Uh, let's look at the ingredients. Oh, you're right. It's coconut. Flavor coconut. Oh. So it's coconut flavored corn snack. So it's going to be like Cocoa Puffs. But like... All right, let's open this up. Oh, okay. We're doing this one again. Oh, no. Let's do it this way. Yeah. Oh, oh, that actually worked really well. I know. Oh, it's like oh, okay. cheese puffs, but coconut puffs. Let's take one out. So it looks actually like a Cheeto almost, but it doesn't feel like a Cheeto. It does feel like a corn puff. Like, uh, what did I just say earlier? Corn, Those corn puff cereal? Yeah, that's what, what you said. <laughs> All right, so we can't remember the name, but let's go ahead and try it. It's sticky, too. Mm -hmm. Feels light and airy. It does. Oh. Oh, very light and airy in your mouth, too. Mm. Like, meh dissolves in your mouth yeah it's like it reminds me of like cheese puffs yeah it really does but with the coconut flavor it's, it's a sweeter. really light coconut flavor it really is it mostly just tastes like corn mm -hmm. not bad uh again i've never tried something yeah. like i like this the animation personally i'm sold he looks so happy yep you can tell he's young has only two front teeth you know what it looks like captain crunch too is that mm. his hair or a hat i think it's a hat i, think I want to say it's a hat the asian captain crunch yeah with a stoplight that's showing all green because go go to your nearest store and buy some kwai kwai corn snacks yeah great okay two for two nice job munchback next up we have uh let's do this Ooh, a costa cereal bar now cereal bars i can't imagine them being very different uh from american cereal bars uh everyone's tried like their what's the k special k special k cereal bars and stuff like that and those are obviously delicious uh so this I don't see how this is going to be different. Um, it's got a flavor, golden cereal. Hmm. Not really sure what that means, but let's open it up and oh, find out. Oh, damn. where is this from, by the way? So it looks like it's from some sort of Spanish-speaking country, I'm assuming, because it says Ablemos on the back. It's fuzzy. Can't hmm. see that. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. From... San Bernardo. Where's San Bernardo? Oh, made in Chile. Oh, huh. perfect. Okay. Let's try this thing out. Okay. I'm going to come up here. You this hold the other stuff. No. Oh, I was going to open it like this. Oh, okay. I don't know if I can grip the other side, though. Uh, grip this corner. Okay, cool. Okay. Oh, go. lovely. Great idea. All right, so let's each take a piece here. Go ahead. Oh. oh, that's not going to work, actually. Here, I'll hold it up to your mouth. I'm going to just take this piece. That sounds good. Okay. Uh, so first impressions. What does it look like? It uh, looks like an average cereal bar. Nothing different. I'm actually... Oh, look, there's actually a little bit of topping. Sugary topping on top. Mm. Um, cereal balls. Right, right. It's really, it's not very, like, mushed together. No, it reminds me of um, a Rice Krispie treat. Yes. All right, let's try this thing out. Okay, cool. Mmm. That is much different. Mmm. That is a really weird flavor. I'm not entirely sure if I'm sold on this one. 
You're right. It does taste a lot like a Rice Krispie treat, but one that's like stale and has been sitting there for a really long time. Also, the flavor is very different. A different sugar yep. than a marshmallow. It's not bad, though. You took another bite. <laughs> uh, Couldn't figure out what I thought. It's good. Um, not bad. Never tried something with this specific texture, consistency, and flavor. Uh, so I'm going to give you three for three munch pack on stuff that I haven't tried, I guess. All right, next up. Uh, let's, man, we've got a lot of bars here. A lot of them. So, I do want to mention, like, I'm really impressed on how they don't come in stale. Oh, I that's always, true, yeah. I was always nervous about ordering food online. Well, this one actually expires in May of this year. Oh. So that's kind of soon, so you can't really let it sit that long. All right, this one looks like a pe- it's a peanut snack. Mm. American Fistic Crocon. Mm. What does that mean? Um, is this I don't know. American Fistic Crocon. I don't think we have any Fistic Crocons here. Well, you can tell it's uh, probably a European just because of the way they spelled American. So. Right, right, right. But there's oh, no important. fat in front of it. Okay. Um, where is it Santa from? Fe, California. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Interesting. All right, let's uh, open this thing up. Okay. Let's pull this open. Can you have allergies and specify if you have a peanut allergy or anything? I have no idea. I don't think I was prompted to on the website. So I guess you can't get snack subscription boxes if you have any allergies at all. Ooh, this is a tricky one to break. Wow. Wow. Okay, so it's one of those that's like rock hard almost. I'm gonna use my other hand. It's like peanut a little bit here. brittle. All right, let's try this thing out. I'm actually not very excited to eat this one. No, me neither. Okay. Let's, let's do go. it. Oh. 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 Well, hard. Oh. Yup. Um. Yup. Um. It's like peanuts and syrup. Yep. But it's not very sweet. Definitely gotta be careful with your teeth on this one. Really? I thought so. I, I have, have very that sensitive teeth. Oh. Mm. I don't. I don't think it's bad once you get into it, but I wouldn't reach for this one. I would never go for this. I really didn't like it. No. Oh. Um, it's not very sweet. It's very nutty, uh, and it's kind of sticky. Which, when you're playing video games, you don't want to eat a ton of sticky food. Oh, that's true. Because you get it all over your controllers. Ah, uh, why don't you wash your hands after you're eating? Because then I can't eat and play video games oh, at that's the a same good time. Point. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Gross. There you go. But I have tried stuff like that. Not very impressed though, much back. All right, let's do a non bar. Yeah. We've got Ooh. creams, bourbon, chocolate sandwich biscuits. These look interesting. Um, they look like Tim Tams, actually, a little bit. Oh, I don't know what that is, but. They're very similar. You can buy them at any grocery store. Where are these from? Houston, Texas. Well, these are imported by, oh. so I don't think they're from Houston. I have no idea. Let's open it up and try it out. Uh, let's, let's, oh, uh, let's do it from this side. Okay. Hold this corner. Okay, got it. Keep holding it. Oh, that fucked up. All right, hold this. Ah, that worked. Ooh, wicking food everywhere. Ooh. So we've got little cookies here. Let's say bourbon. I wonder if they're going to at all taste like bourbon. I don't think so. Because they look like just chocolate in the middle. I do like cookies with middle stuff in it. Me too. All right, let's try it out. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Yep. They're just like normal chocolate cookies. Chocolate cookies. You know, honestly, I don't think I'm wild. No. Nope, but they're good. Either. They're okay. Pretty sweet. I feel like Ooh, that's yeah, something really you can, sweet, actually. You can buy at your local grocery store. Good. All right. Girl Scout cookies might be better. Ooh. Man, this box Ha-ha. is actually really big. Uh, okay, so we've got a Jaffa orange or is it Jaffa orange? I don't know. It depends where it's from. 
Right, right. It's from Lee's. Oh, maybe it's Jaffa. Lee's Jaffa Orange. Dot chocolate. Naturally flavored. Oh, God, I'm so full. Uh, oh, made Scotland. In Scotland. Oh, that's fun. Oh, but distributed in California. Eh, whatever. Okay. All right, let's open it up. Uh, so go ahead and hold that corner again. Okay. I think this is the first food from Scotland I've eaten. Really? Oh, sorry about that. Ooh. All right, so inside we've got a normal looking chocolate bar. Why don't you break off a piece? See what it looks like inside. Oh, that was really easy. Huh. It looks like a zebra cake inside. Really? It makes me think of um, one of those coconut filled almond joys. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Let's try it out. Okay, cool. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I like this really one. That's really interesting. Oh. Yeah, definitely reminds me of an almond joy, mm. but with orange flavors. Oh my god, it's ridiculously really sweet. sweet. Really, really sweet. I think, and I eat a lot of sugar. I don't think I can handle this. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's ridiculously sweet. That's like one of the sweetest things I've tried yet. Mm. Oh man, it's like lingering in my mouth. Yep. At first, I liked it when I put it in my mouth, but now, not yep, so much. Yep, mm -hmm. I like the orange. The flavor orange flavor and is definitely always good. nice. Good compliment, but ooh. Oh, God. Definitely need some tea or something bitter with that. Okay. Mm. Ooh, wafers. Yes. Tresor Dore? Tresor Dor. Mm. Hazelnut cream crisp malt wafer chocolate. A little box. I'm assuming there's like three or four in here. We'll find out. Where are these Where's from? from? Made in China. Yes. My favorite. But it doesn't look Chinese at all. All right, let's open oh, it up. It's not stereotype. But there's there's no Chinese I think it characters. actually opens like this. Oh, you got it. Very small and light box. You know what these remind me of? Um, um, Ferrero yes. Roche. I agree. Is that how you pronounce it? Oh. I haven't tried pronouncing any names today, so. <laughs> Ooh, that is less nice. Little foil bag. I actually kind of expected that. Um, otherwise, how would they keep it oh. fresh? We got a little tear oh, thing here. That makes it easier. Oh man. Ooh, these look good. They look promising. They do. But then I'm a sucker for like these little balls of chocolate. Let's try it out. You ready? Yep, I am. Mmm. Mmm. Couldn't you wait for outside? It's different than the uh, Ferro Shea. Mm. It doesn't have any cream in the middle. Um, it's mm. not as good. But the middle is, the chocolate middle is really mm. pretty good. Show them the oh. um, I like to eat my stuff little by little. So they've got little balls on the outside that are like baked in to the chocolate. Um, and those seem to be like really crunchy. I don't know what they are, though. It's like crunch a bunch. Bunch of crunch? Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Not bad, though. Mm. That's interesting. Never tried something like that. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay. All right. We're slowly running out of stuff. Let's actually try these. Actually. Oh, we know what these are. We do know what these are. Hi, choose. Okay. You can buy them at any grocery store, pretty much. From Japan. At least in California. Are they J Japanese? I thought so. East Asian. Some kind of East Asia. So, we're going to skip trying this. We They're know what good, these taste though. Like. They are good. They're very chewy. They get stuck to your teeth if you actually chew on them. They're like um, stop bursts, but I yes. would say a little bit chewier. Yep. All right, next up, cookie crunch. Ooh. These look like Kit Kats from the front. They do. But um, they have like this nice checkerboard pattern. I wonder if that's actually on that. That would be very interesting. It looks like from Japan. It does. Or does it? I can't tell what the characters are actually yeah. from. Yeah. Let's open this up. Okay. How do I just literally... Oh, uh, no, no. It's got a tear oh. right here. Oh, gosh. No, it's from okay. this side. How about I hold it and you tear it? Okay. Let's do that. Uh, 
Okay, there we go. Lovely. And let's split one of these in half. Oh my god, I can't get it out. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah. Very Thanks. small. Okay, so opening this up. Oh, okay. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to two hand this. <laughs> oh no. Oh no! Did you eat it? How did it taste? Some of it got on my fingers. It just tastes like more chocolate. Wow! I can't open it. It's like melted. Uh oh. One of the fears of ordering food through the mail. I'm slowly getting it open. Oh, okay. Here we go. So there's a little checkerboard printed on. I don't know if you could see that or not. Uh, it's very light. It's like they stamped it at the very end or something like that after it's been made. Uh, let's go ahead and try a little piece of this. It's like all chocolate on the inside. Yeah, it's like a kind of a cookie dough look. Mm, um, yeah. Kind of holy. The texture, the like printing on it is interesting because it's really smooth. Okay, mm. let's try it out. Okay. Oh, okay. It's like chocolate. It's chocolate. Um, I don't taste any crunch. I get a little crunch. You get a little bit? I get a little crunch from the cookie bit. But yeah, it just tastes like chocolate for the most part. Yep, with like the little crunchy cookie bits. Yeah. But the cookie bits aren't very strong or obvious in flavor. Not bad, though. Not bad. I wouldn't say it's better than anything you can get here. Kit Not Kats very is interesting. so much better. Oh, no! Um, okay. Last thing. Mmm. Say, Say bone. bone. French? X2. Mm. Just in case you didn't know. Looks like zebra cakes, but it does a Kit look Kat like a zebra cake version. But it's like, hybrid. it feels hard. Mm. Um, zebra okay. cake Kit Kats? Let's open it up. Where are these from, by the way? French? That's what I think. It looks like. Let's just assume okay. France. Okay, we've got oh. one right here. On the inside, it looks like wafers. Show them the inside of that. It uh, looks like we've got some wafer and some sort of like yellow, maybe lemon or something on top. Um, there we go. Let's try it out. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, I wish there was a little bit more feeling inside. All it feels like is wafery inside and then a cream on the outside. It does, but it's actually not sweet. It's like not it's sweet. not overly sweet, it's not even a little bit sweet. Well it's a little bit sweet, but But it's not overpowering, which the other flavors have been really strong. Definitely not. But it, it's mostly just like wafer. Yeah. Not bad. Not super entertained. Um okay. Well, that was so, a lot of snacks in one box. That was. Um lunch pack, surprisingly has been one of the best in terms of value and novelty. I'm really impressed. What did you think of this box? I thought it was good. Um, I got to taste a little bit of your other candies. I thought this had the most variety. It did, um, and it's probably the cheapest, I think. I don't remember what the other one was. But this one was only $20 a month, and I, again, I got it for like 17 So Munchpack gets an A+. Plus for me, especially if the next boxes, which I don't think I'm going to keep subscribing, but if the next boxes are continually new things, uh, it'll definitely be worth it. Uh, so much back, two thumbs up. I, I don't, my first snack subscription box, so I'm going to make it right in the middle. Okay, all one, ones. one in a middle thumb up. Good job, Munchpack. You, you win the awards.